based on current information, go ahead and add a third medic. Copy a third medic. All units, left like at Jefferson, room 101. More shots fired. Today, the Bend Police Department, along with multiple uh, Central Oregon agencies, came together, actually starting back about three months ago, preparing and planning an active shooter scenario training. And so today, we were able to um, have the scenario at Central Oregon Community College, involving a couple of the buildings and part of the, um, of the campus. And so it's tested the, the college's systems um, to contact 911 and report it to us, and then our systems from there re responding to it and handling the situation. Um, I wasn't observing the fight, it was just the uh, gunman coming out and getting a victim, shooting him. I was outside. It was somewhat of an adrenaline rush, you know, trying to make that as real as possible for law enforcement, even though you know it's not, but um, it felt good to help out. The purpose of it was to go through all the motions and kind of like know how it all works and goes down and just like how to be prepared kind of gives us an idea of what like the cops do to like what their part what their roles are in mm -hmm. helping we need to be prepared for emergency type situations, whether it's an active shooter or it's a um, you know weather related emergency. We need to all come together and, and prepare together so that when the real thing occurs, uh, we're ready to you know to handle it. So really want to look at our response, and we are going to debrief it a couple different times today. We're going to you know briefly talk about it with everybody, and then we're going to look at it with. Uh, for lack of a better term, a fine tooth comb and really evaluate how we can, you know, how our response can be better and how we can, you know, be better prepared for when that incident occurs.